Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Philippine Sigotes Dins Gemeinde here in Vienna, Austria. I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is December 26, and the Church celebrates the Feast of St. Stephen, the first martyr of the Church. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians, and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God, and he said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, Receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Psalm 31. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Gospel Antiphon, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of my Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents, and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the church celebrates the feast of Saint Stephen. He is a Christian deacon and he was known for his service to the poor. He was martyred. He died by stoning in the year 36 during the first wave of the uh, persecutions of the early Christians of the young church. It is um, interesting to note that the day after Christmas, the day uh, when, when, when the Messiah was born and peace was given to the world, immediately on the following day, we have heard of a, uh, of a situation very much opposite 
in contrast to the peace that was proclaimed, no, it was one of cruelty. It was one of chaos, and uh, yeah, it's a cruel death by stoning. It would only want to tell us that really to follow Jesus, to follow his footsteps is not easy. That the peace that Jesus proclaims to the world is not oftentimes accepted by all. Or it's quite different from the peace that the people would want themselves to be into, but not the peace that is coming from Jesus. Stephen is the first martyr. He was the first to follow the Messiah in martyrdom and just like his divine master he died forgiving and praying for his persecutors our christian life would not be easy this is for sure well jesus did not say it will be a bed of roses he would always say follow me carry your cross and follow me that means we have always crosses to bear in this life also because of our being christians of our being uh, followers and disciples of Jesus. What Jesus has passed on, what Jesus was experiencing in this life, we are going also to experience. But what he has experienced after this life, in death and in, in, in heaven now, that is also reserved for us, for those who would remain faithful to Jesus. And so this um, seeming contra contrasts between the birth of Jesus and this second day is really a manifestation of the difficulty the, of, of a life of a Christian. No? Look at this symbolism also. Jesus, as a baby, was wrapped in swaddling clothes. It points already to that moment when Jesus was wrapped with linen as he was placed in the sepulcher. And the mother Mary, full of joy, holding the, the baby Messiah in her arms, was full of anguish as that same man who died on the cross was put into her arms once again, no? the Pieta. Look at these contrasts. Look at this process of our life as Christians. That is not the end, actually. No? And what I'm telling you is that um, it is not an easy process for us. No? It does not end, of course, in the death of Jesus. It does not end in, that, uh, in the Pieta, no? when Mother Mary was holding the dead body of her uh, son. No? It goes further, of course, into eternal life. And that is the thing that we are expecting. That is the thing that we look forward to. But we should not remove the, 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 that picture of Jesus dying on the cross, Stephen being stoned, and Mary in anguish because of what happened to Jesus. So all of this we're going to pass through in our lives. Tandaan natin yan. Jesus in today's gospel is warning his disciples, no? Beware of men because they are going to hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be led before the Sanhedrin, the governors, and the kings in my name. But do not be afraid. <laughs> it is the Holy Spirit who will be speaking through you. No. That promise also of protection, even in these moments. No. Yeah, brothers and sisters, maybe the question we can ask ourselves today is, just like Stephen, how far are we in protecting, no? in saving the faith? How far are we in, in uh, yeah, kano ba kalayo tayo para ipagtanggol yung ating pananampalatayang pinapanindigan? No. Kaano kalayo? In the first place, how deep is that faith already in us that we are able to, to, to protect is no? To protect that faith. Sana yun ay ating nagagawa sa ating buhay. That we defend the faith, that we defend our Christian faith, we defend our Christian Catholic faith from all those who would like to destroy us. And so, that is our life. Mahirap, pero sa mga taong Mananatiling tapat kay Jesus, nandoon pa rin yung tagumpay. It is a hard life. It will be a difficult life for those who will be faithful because of the coming persecutions in whatever form. But rest assured of the beauty of the life that is in store for those who will remain faithful to Him. The heaven that is waiting for us. Again, be with Jesus in this world, in all aspects. And we will be with Jesus in heaven. Amen.
I would like to just invite you for a short moment of silence to bring our petitions before God our Father, the contents of our hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas still to all of you. <laughs> Pasko naman kasi araw-araw, di ba? Yun ang target natin. Maraming po salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagninilay ngayong araw na ito. Let's ask the intercession of St. Stephen that we be courageous in defending our faith. Magandang araw, magandang buhay sa inyo lahat. Ciao.